Good morning, it's Dr. Babo here, opening a brand new day with prayer. So Father, thank you, come, touch us, fill us, make us real, our faith real, that our daily lives matters for eternity, Lord. I want my life to matter today for your kingdom work. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, continuing with Christian Life by Pastor Pang Ji in chapter 17, he writes the title, The Correct Attitude for Christian Living. And I put a subtitle, All. <laughs> it's all about all, giving it all. This is word of the Lord from Mark. 12, 29, 30, normally, as, as I always do, I'll read it three times, you meditate and see how God speaks to you. Jesus answered him, first of all, the commandments is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Jesus answered him, first of all, the command is this, hear O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. Jesus answered him, the first of all, the commandments is, hear O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your hearts, with all your soul, with all your mind, and all your strength. This is the first commandment. Mm. You know this story from the Bible, from Mark, and other gospel. The Pharisees came, and they love to talk about the law, just like some Biblicists in modern day, they just love to talk about Bible. I just love it. They almost make it into a sword fight. You know, it's like, take out certain scripture and I'm gonna kill you. You know, it's like, <laughs> you have to, <clears throat> you know, and, and they, they fancy themselves and how much word they know and memorize. Okay, there's nothing wrong with memorizing scripture. We should all engage in that. But when you go extreme and think the number of memorization makes you that much deeper Christian or something, when you start equating that, my Lord, it's not in that. It's existential reality of faith. It's not in memorizing the lines of the love letters that your lover wrote. No, it's actually having intimate relationship with the lover, right? So here, these Pharisees love to talk about Bible or their Bible, Pentateuch, the first five books of the Old Testament. So obviously Moses is the one who brought the law. So they come and say, well, Young man, so in a way they're insinuating it's only 30 year old rabbi and in Jewish culture, you're not adult until you're 30. That's why Jesus waited until he was 30 to do public ministry. Young rabbi, as I engage in reading the scripture for 45 years and I'm 80 what? Young man, what do you say is the greatest? commandment. Wow. And he flips the table on them. 
and he makes it so succinct, so simple, so clear. He says, well, there's only one God. Okay. Let, let God be loved right, by you with all of your heart, all of your soul, all of your mind, and all of your body strength. That's it. It's the first commandment. The second is to love your neighbor as yourself. Blow people away. And then he demonstrates that how he, being God, is going to give everything he's got. In John 13, 1, it is written, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, that he should depart from this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them, what? To the end. How great is love to our Lord. He loved to the end. He gave himself on the cross for us. You know, as the little kid said, how much did Jesus love us? This much on the cross, right? This much. That's how much Jesus loved us. On the cross, gave himself for us. So, since our Lord Jesus gave everything he got, we must also do the same. See, his gospel is, you cannot pay because it's too great of a price. There's nothing you could do. You could do. It's grace, nothing. And yet, but you must do your part, grace. That's why it's existential salvation. That's, that's what I subscribe to. You know, people who just, come, oh, you know, I, in seventh grade, I confessed that at a retreat somewhere. But Jesus is Lord, that's, it, that's enough because I made an intellectual agreement that Jesus died for me. But so what did you do for the last 60 years? Nothing. I live for myself, live for my family. All the money I raised, I spent it for myself and for my family, save it for my sec next generation, third generation. That doesn't sound like Christ who gave it all for us. Okay? And we must also do our darn best. And then the all here is key point. He writes uh, some Korean old saying, the pigeon has all his heart on the crop field. I guess that's some Korean old saying that, yeah, look at the pigeon. All they worry in their, their, in their little bird brain, it's all full of the beans. The crop field of beans, actually the Korean, and, and uh, Steve Kong translated into crop field, but actually the crop field of uh, beans. So what's, what he's saying is that the birds, Little brain is full of beans, and that's all you care about. Ooh, ooh, bing, bing. <laughs> what is your mind full of? Or your heart? He writes, the pigeon has always heart full of beans, always thinking about what he really desires. If you're always desiring the gold, your heart is full of gold. Your heart is full of health, because you're sick now. Whatever it is, what is your heart full of? What have all your heart loving right now? Make sure it's Christ. That's what he's saying. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be. Well, secondly, your soul, give all your soul. Love your God with all of your soul. He writes, the Lord shed his own blood and saved sinners and gave us his life. He loved us unto death. I too must give my blood. I mean, it's very evident in the book that he wrote called The Blood Gospel. That's the blood gospel that we also translated. And uh, we translate it into English, happy cover, translate it into Cambodians, and then we translate it into Vietnamese. And I taught it. So I understand the importance, the blood of Christ for Pastor Pong, and of course for all Christians, the blood of Jesus, the cross. We, we think about cross without thinking about blood, then we're missing the point. It's like, well, it's like thinking about pizza without 
tomato sauce or something. How can you think about something without the other? How can you think about the cross without the blood? Because cross, you bleed to death, right? You are hung there so that your blood will all come out and then water will come out and then you die of your own suffocation. Um, so he's talking about the blood. He's saying that you, as Jesus was faithful unto death, gave up his soul. That's what you need to do. Give all, let me repeat, all of your heart with all of your soul. Then, and then thirdly, all of your will. mind or will, all of your mind or will, all of your mind. So what does it mean as you will? What is the Father's will versus your will? We're right now uh, launched into the journey of no return. Jin and I, we feel the Lord is calling us to purchase these two property. So we went and we asked for help and when we finally came to Cambodia, we realized uh, four thousand dollar came to our account. That's good because uh, we need four hundred thousand. That's one percent. And then uh, during this time, because of the COVID nineteen, and actually someone died in Cambodia, one person, and now it's bringing panic to the nation, which is wow, that's kind of crazy. In America, like I don't know, half million died. But anyway, so. Because of the COVID-19 panic, this property, now they're giving 10% off. So uh, that combined property of 350,000, now it's about 31, 310,000. So when we went to the place, they said, well, the deposit to secure that property uh, is uh, $4,000. So I said, well, let's do this. Is it God's will? I think so. That's what we're doing it. It's his will against ours. And, then, and Jesus prays that let not my will, but remember the prayer in his Gethsemane, let your will be done with all of your will. Are you loving your God? God who died on the cross for us today. And then the phrase, he writes, love with all of your strength, bring to mind the scene of our Lord praying in Gethsemane. He prayed with all of his strength. How much strength did he pray with? Physically and being in agony, he prayed more earnestly than his sweat became like the great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Luke 22, 44. Wow. He prayed and prayed and prayed with all of his physical strength uh, that his blood vessel popped in his eyes that the blood actually, uh, the, the sweat becomes the blood. They said, physiologically, they tested because people always doubt the Bible. They said, ah, how could it be? Well, it is true. The blood vessel could pop, okay? And, and it could become a, a, a blood. I remember, this is a personal story, but when Jenny had a, a first child, I remember she had an IV stuck you know, on it. And she was pressuring so much in her arm, I saw the blood start traveling backward. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God. And all her blood vessel on her side pop. Like you see a blood and go, wow. You know, of course, like, I feel so sorry. I feel that she's suffering. But I was watching this and I thought, my God, Bible is true. <laughs> when Jesus, I agonized, prayer, ah, everything popped and the blood became. I mean, if she pushed a little harder, then it could become the blood, tears, blood, sweats. <laughs> and it's kind of somber moment for me. Gosh, do I really love my Lord in this attitude? Whew. 
Am I really keeping this first commandment that Jesus gave to us today? I really love God with all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, and all of my strength. So he challenges us today. Let us always ask ourselves, am I giving my all and love the Lord our God with my all? Christian living means to give up oneself. Christian living is total surrender. Yes, Lord. I read the text one more time. Jesus answered, Jesus speaks to me today. The first of all, the commandment is, Hear, O Israel, Lord, our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love me, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first commandment for you. Wow. And I said, thank you, Lord Jesus. Let this day be filled with you so much that I have no time to be tempted. No place of pride. But I said, Jesus, you are Lord, my God. And I love you with everything I've got today. As my brothers and sisters who hear this message today, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord bless you. Praying for you, Somi. Nuna, you're going to get well. Be healed. In Jesus' name.